it's Wednesday. It's hump day, everybody. Let's just get over this hump. And Friday is just around the corner. All right, so let's get on with today's video. Today, I'm going to inform you about spark plugs and their heat ranges. So I'm sure you've heard tuners talk about having to change your spark plugs out to colder spark plugs. What does that mean? I mean, are the spark plugs actually cold, you know, versus hotter or is actually like summer versus winter type of thing? Uh, it's very um, confusing sometimes with the wording that's used, but it really basically just points to how the spark plug dissipates heat from the actual cylinders. So when it says it's colder spark plugs, it just means it takes the heat inside the cylinder and dissipates it faster um, than a hotter spark plug. And the reason you want to do this is there's an optimal temperature that you want to run within the cylinder walls. Um, so when the combustion happens inside the cylinder wall, you want to be around, well, between 550 and 800 degrees Celsius, which translates about 1020 to 1470 Fahrenheit. Um, you want to be between there in order to make safe, optimal uh, combustions. When you are actually higher than that, that's when you start melting pistons, you start breaking apart spark plugs, and basically go down a road which you don't want to go down because you're going to end up damaging your engine. Um, so that really happens when you're running too hot of a spark plug, meaning your spark plug is not able to dissipate heat fast enough. Um, so when the combustion happens and the explosion happens inside your cylinder walls, all that heat basically stays in it and melts everything that's inside instead of being um, dissipated through the through the head where the spark plug is actually mounted to. Um, so I will show you some pictures here and go over with you on basics of how the spark plug works um, and the reasons why you need a colder spark plug. Um, it's not really a it's not a scam. It's not just trying to make you spend more money on parts. It is definitely a very very integral part of tuning your vehicle. Um, and it is definitely something that you need to keep your eye on at all times to make sure your spark plugs are clean burning, um, that they are still, they're not getting fouled out. Um, you know, I, I would recommend, depending on what kind of car it is, what kind of spark plugs you're running, you know, at least pull them out every other oil change, check the tips, make sure it's good, make sure there's no oil running through them and things like that to make sure your car is in uh, tip top shape and you're not going to have a engine failure at the end of the day. All right, so let's move on to some diagrams. All right, so take a look at this uh, picture right here. The one on the left is a hotter plug, and as you go to the right, the plug gets colder. This red part is what they call an insulator. That's the ceramic portion of the spark plug. Uh, when you pull the spark plug out, you'll be able to see that there is like a, a tip, and then there is the, the ceramic portion on the inside. So that's what really determines the heat range of the spark plug. The longer the ceramic portion, the hotter the spark plug, the shorter, the colder it is. Um, the length of that determines how much heat gets dissipated. Now, if we look at this diagram here, it shows you if the gas pocket is smaller, which means the insulator is shorter, it dissipates heat earlier in the actual traveling of the heat up the spark plug. Um, you know, opposed to a hot plug, where it takes longer for the heat to travel up and start dissipating. So that's where the temperature difference is, and that's the basics of how heat travels in a spark plug. It's not crazy rocket science, but it is pretty much physics, in a sense, that how heat moves. Um, and in order to, like, like I said before, in order to make optimal power, reliable power, without the, um, the risk of damaging your engine due to the wrong spark plug you definitely need to pay attention to these uh, and then you know make sure that your cylinder temperature is at the optimal temperature rating obviously there's no way for as an end user for you to know exactly what's going on in there but tuners will determine exactly you know what kind of plugs you'll need for your car for what type of tune what type of um, modifications you're doing to the car so Definitely keep on top of that, you know, make sure you double check with your tuner for proper gap of the spark plug, you know, proper temperature of the spark plug. Sometimes they will even designate exactly what part you need to use depending on, you know, if your car requires um, higher, higher quality spark plug versus if it can run a lower quality for a little cheaper 
um, you know, less hit in the pocket type of deal as well. So keep that in mind. Again, this is very important part of your car. So don't skimp out on it. It's just like engine oil. It's not going to cost you a fortune. So keep on top of it because at the end of the day, if you don't pay attention to the small stuff, you're going to end up with a huge bill trying to repair your engine. All right. Um, I try to keep it as simple as possible today. So like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video. Uh, and I hopefully I gave you some knowledge that you didn't have. Um, and well, I'll see you on the next one.